Yeah. Yep. Well, he made such a tremendous start last season, and why did it go wrong and you, you faded towards the end? Oh, there's a, a few things that kind of, um, on the back end of the season, losing personnel, things like that. Um, a few things just not going our way, a bit of con continuity with the team as well when you make them changes. But it, it was a, a great experience for us as well because we got a lot of young guys' game time there as well, which will hopefully make sure we're a lot stronger this year in terms of our depth and quality. How's your preparation gone so far? Yeah, really good so far. We've um, managed to get through both pre-season friendlies and come through really healthy, which is a big plus for us. We've only got one injury at the moment, which is uh, young Chris Brining, who's just got a little um, issue with his neck. So hopefully that kind of rectifies itself in the next um, couple of weeks. But other than that, all good in pre-season. OK. Um, so when the season gets underway, um, you've already lost um, slight against Warrington, haven't you, in that friendly? Yes. But that was only a friendly, of course. Yep. Um, how do you see it going and where do you see the competition coming from? Oh, the big one um, for us on, on the kind of the back of the pre-season friendly against Warrington as well is first half I thought we were very dominant. We completed really well on the back end of them as well. Second half, obviously, we made quite a lot of changes again, and they caught us on that little bit of time as well. But the, the big thing for us in that Warrington game was getting some younger guys' experience of playing against Super League opposition, so we know when they come into the season they can handle that. But I think the the big teams this year, again, you're probably going to have Castleford are going to be back up there, again, who are going to be challenging. I think the likes of Wigan as well are having a real good pre-season under the belts with kind of some of their main guys not being involved in the World Cup this year. Maybe they'll come through to the fore again on the back end of that. And then you've got the, um, the other teams who've been consistently up there at the moment in the last few years of the, the Leeds teams and people like that and Hull. So substantial changes with your, with your squad, but substantial changes off the pitch as well. Now it's owned by the fans. How different is it going to be next season? Yeah, or t probably time will tell on, on the back end of that. But everything we've done so far and all the communications we've had, they're really positive. They really want to grow the club and take it um, to a kind of new dimension, if you like, really. So um, that's got to be good for us as a community and as a team. Hopefully what we can do is with our performances is put on some strong performances there, which interests more spectators coming in as well. And um, with the work that's being done off the field as well, give it more of that community feel. So people want to be a part of Salford going forward. Smashing, thank you. Brilliant, no problem. Cheers. Right.